Right, today we're at Sunnybank in the village of Beerley, just between Stratford-upon-Avon and Henley and Arden to look at this rather splendid detached house. Um, these gates are electric, so you've got a nice secure parking area here. I'm just going to walk onto the lawn here at the front because the house sits beautifully in the plot, almost smack bang in the middle, so you've got plenty of parking. There's a detached garage over there, which I'll show you in a little while. And all around, you've got this nice mature U hedge giving you high levels of privacy. So let me show you inside first. The gable end there on the left is an extension. As you can see, a two story extension. And I think this is one of the best proportion houses I've seen in a long time. So let's have a look inside. We've got oil fired central heating and UPVC double glazing. And the original house was very symmetrical with identical front to back rooms on both sides of the front door. So we've got this sitting room here with an open fire, stands sandstone surround, and then pretty much identical, we've got this dining room with a huge cupboard over there under the stairs. It's a great, or well, pantry I suppose really in its former life, but uh, a really good size storage cupboard. Now we go into the extension where we've got a really good size breakfast kitchen where we've got a built-in double oven, microwave, fridge freezer and dishwasher and plenty of room as you can see for a good size table for informal dining. On the back, we've got a huge laundry room, lots of space out here. So all of those appliances are out here. Second freezer there. And then we've got a guest WC or gardener's loo here. I'll take you upstairs before we go outside. No, bring any mud back in. So, Upstairs, we've got this central staircase in the original building, bringing us up onto a good size landing with quite a bit of built-in storage here. And we'll start at this end. This is the third bedroom, which as you can see is a really good size double with a wardrobe in the corner. Then we've got Bathroom here with independently heated shower over the bath. Believe it or not, this is the smallest bedroom, which as you can see, again is a double and again with a wardrobe. Forgive my reflection. Then we've got a shower room here, which serves the other two bedrooms with this one being the master, overlooking the, the gardens at the back, which we'll come to shortly. And as you can see, a beautiful open aspect onto a field behind. And then this is the view on the side. Again, this one's got a built-in wardrobe. And then finally up here, the second bedroom, Another really good sized double with a built-in wardrobe and another one with a dual aspect. So really good sized bedrooms, all four are doubles. Let me whiz you quickly back down through the house and we'll have a quick look outside. So outside, as I say, the, the house sits pretty much plum central in the plot. So you've got good space on both sides. We've got a single garage 
with loft storage here, a huge log shed. And then at the bottom, there are two, what were originally stables, that give you some really good brick built storage, workshops. And then on the side here, some raised beds and a good size greenhouse. I'll just give you a shot of the rear elevation. I think it's awesome. Come and see what you think.